right, boys and girls, welcome. We are going to have a Red Ribbon Week presentation, okay? And we wanted to go ahead and have our BISD police here to celebrate Red Ribbon Week with us, boys and girls, okay? So let's give them a round of applause. Yay! I'm Mrs. Dina Holsa. I'm one of the school counselors here for those of you that don't know me. And this is Ms. Miranda. Hello, boys and girls. I've been talking to you all this past week about uh, celebrating Red Ribbon Week next week. And we're gonna have the different, you know how we dress up, we're gonna have the different uh, dress ups every day. Just a reminder, Monday is pajama day. Tuesday is team up against drugs. You get to wear your, your team shirt, team jerseys. Wednesday is red day for the whole district. Thursday, you get to wear it's wild about being drug free, so you get to wear crazy hair or a crazy hat. And Friday, you get to wear your costume. If you do celebrate uh, Halloween, you get to wear your costume. Remember, no scary costumes, okay? And this, we do all of this to tell you all how important it is to stay away from drugs. That's why every day we have a theme, like the first day is, uh, Follow your dreams and stay drug free. On Tuesday, it's team up against drugs. On Thursday, we have wild and crazy about being drug free. And on Friday, we have boo away drugs. So all of these ha things have to do something with saying no to drugs. And that's why we're celebrating. And that's why we have the police department here who are gonna talk to you about how important it is to stay away from drugs and to say no to drugs. Okay, are you all ready for the presentation? Yay. Okay. Okay, and we here we have. Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Officer Nieto, and I'm one of the K-9 officers here for the school district. How are you doing today? Good. Good. I'm here to talk to you about Red Ribbon and staying away from drugs. I've been working for the district for 20 years as a canine officer, I've had different dogs throughout the years. Our dogs are trained to find drugs, okay? And the reason we celebrate Red Ribbon, it all started with one uh, DEA agent, Kiki Camarena. After that, we've had a lot of other uh, DEA officers, patrol officers, and other officers that had sacrificed their lives for us or and all of you to stay drug free. It's, it's them and us that we fight the war on drugs. We're not gonna get rid of them, but we can try to get as many as we can. The other thing is that we work for the school district. We have K-9, we have dogs that alert on drugs. And nowadays drugs come in all size, shape, smell, the smokeless, as, as you get to high school, you'll find out about all that. They give you candy as well, and that's all drugs, okay? So for the next, uh, few days people will tell you about drugs and throughout your life you're going to hear to stay away from drugs. Drugs are not going to get you anywhere. A lot of people think that they can make money, fast money by getting into drugs. It's not true. There is a lot of police officers, especially the young ones. I'm already getting old. You can see all my gray hair. But the young ones are here to perform their job as best as they can. And they will try to get all the drugs that they can find. And remember, it's not only male or men that are out there fighting for drugs. It's women too. So girls, you know, as you get older, you need to make a change. You need to make a difference in everybody's life by keeping drugs away. And as you get older and you have a family, you keep the drugs away from you. We're here to help you. Here in the district, we have police officers, we have counselors, we have teachers that will help you throughout your school year to stay away from drugs. So with that, just give me a few minutes, I'm gonna get Officer Galvan here, who's also a canine officer, and he has a dog as well. We both have dogs, and we uh, go around looking for drugs. So I'm gonna give you Officer Galvan to talk to you for a few minutes, and then I'll come back and talk to you some more. I'm Officer Galvan, how you all doing? Can you all hear me? Yes? Okay. Uh, I've been with the department, with the school district for 16 years. I've been with a canine unit for a year and three months. 
Uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to bring my canine partner, my friend. Her name is Aggie. She's a German Shepherd. She's four years old. Uh, I've been training for her, with her for the past pretty much year. And uh, she's trained to detect the odors of any narcotics, OK? Like Officer Nieto was mentioning to you, this coming week is going to be Red Ribbon Week. One of the questions that we always ask all our students, what do we say to drugs? No. No, right? Why do we say no to drugs? The what, Miguel? It affects your life and health? Correct. That's right. That's one of the main reasons. We always say no to drugs. Why? Because it's bad for your health. It affects your life. What do you do if you find drugs? Go ahead, Miguel. Drugs are bad? Drugs are bad? Yes, they are. What do you do if you come across a drug? Who do you tell? An adult, correct? Oh. Yes, you always tell an adult. Unfortunately, there's times that there's been drugs found in our schools, elementary, middle schools, high schools. The best thing to do is for you all to report it to an adult. Like Officer Nieto mentioned, you have your counselors, you have your teachers, your administrators, your principals. You have security officers and police officers that work at schools or go by your schools to check up on you. Our job is to keep you all safe. That's why we look for drugs. That's why we go with our dogs, check around, because we want to maintain you guys safe at all times and keep you away from drugs. If you all have any questions, you can ask me a question, raise your hand and ask me a question and I'll, and I'll answer for you. I said the most important thing for us is to keep you and the staff away from drugs. We go to every level, we go to elementary, we go to middle schools, we go to high schools, we take our dogs, we run them to make sure that there's no drugs in our schools. Yes, we got. What do they find them? They find them to keep them away from you all. We don't want you all to come across drugs and not know what they are and then give it to somebody or you all take it and it's going to hurt you. Yes. How do the what? How do the dogs find them? They're trained to find narcotics. Right now when I bring my partner Aggie, we're going to give you a little demonstration. Her odor is 10,000 times stronger than what we can smell. So they're trained to, we train them to find marijuana and other types of drugs. Yes. How do we train a dog? Yeah. Officer Nieto <laughs> will explain that process to you. Okay. The dogs are trained. We give uh, the dogs about, we normally get the dogs at one years old. Okay. And then we start training them to start smelling like looking for the drug. The, the dogs are trained on the actual drug itself, which is cocaine, heroin, marijuana, and meth. Okay. The dogs are, are uh, we start playing with the toy. The dogs are looking for a toy. They want to play. The dogs are like kids. They want to be playing all the time. So we give them a toy and we start associating the drugs with the toy. So they're looking for the toy while we're looking for the drugs. Because remember, the dog's nose is 10 times better than the human nose. So the dogs will, I have put place drugs here. Actually, I put marijuana in one of these cones. And it's up to the dog in a little while to come in and find the drug. Now, you have to remember that drugs can be anywhere from um, your medication, not only, like I said a while ago, cocaine, heroin, marijuana, but it also can be alcohol. That's a drug. Beer, liquor, all of those are a drug. Prescription medicine that they give you, the doctor gives you, that's a drug. So long as you take it the way you're supposed to take it, the way the doctor tells you to take it, it's okay. Once you start abusing the drug, it's a whole different story. And remember, the drugs are given to each and every one of us, and it says your name on the bottle. That's who's supposed to be taking it. If somebody else has that drug, and it's not their name, then they're abusing the drug because it doesn't belong to them. So you see, a drug can be anywhere from 
what I said, the cocaine, heroin, marijuana, math, to prescription medicine, to beer, liquor. That's a drug. That's something that will offset your brain. And if that offsets your brain, then you're not focusing on what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? And that's what a drug does. It takes you out of focus. So if students take drugs in school, they're not going to be paying attention at their work and what they're supposed to be doing. They're going to be paying, their mind's going to be off somewhere else. Okay? And they can hurt themselves or others. And that's where we come into the in place. We have to make sure that everybody is safe. Students, teachers, bus drivers, we go around the campuses checking everybody, not just students, okay? We check everybody because we want to make it as safe as possible for everybody. So I'm talking about bus drivers, teachers, students, everybody is supposed to be drug free here, okay? So we go around checking everybody to make sure that it is a safe place for all of you. And that's how we get our dogs. Our dogs are dogs, are dogs okay? I'm not going to say they don't bite. Our dogs are supposed to train not to bite. Our dogs are trained only to find drugs. And we'll demonstrate in a little while. And uh, his dog is a, what you call a Belgium, a Belgium, a Belgium, okay? So he'll come around. He's a 10. No, he's got the German Shepherd. It's a black German Shepherd. He'll come around and smell. The dog will normally, if I tell the dog to smell low, he'll smell low, medium, or high. Okay? You see, if there's something hiding here in the city, like let's see that opening right there. So we get the dog to smell right here, and he'll sit down and be looking up there. Okay? Because in the restrooms, as you get older and you get to high school, kids hide drugs up on top, thinking we're not going to check the top. We go around the school checking everywhere. Cars, the inside, up, down, their cars. If they take cars to school, we check their cars and the teacher's cars. Once you're on BISD property, we can check everybody or everything that's in there. You have a question? You keep on raising your head. I'm sorry. I'm always wanted a German Shepherd. Okay. And German Shepherds are great dogs. I had a German Shepherd, he just retired this month. Now I have a Belgium. He has a black German Shepherd, and this dog is, uh, like I said, dogs are dogs, they're trained not to bite because we work in the school environment. But accidents do happen, have happened in the past, and we try our best not to let it happen. So that's how come our dogs are trained in a passive. When he comes, he'll sit down or lie down. He will not try to scratch. He will not try to bite it. He will not do any of those things because that's showing a little bit of aggression. And we try our best not to have aggressive dogs. Okay? Any questions so far? Are we doing okay? So remember, whether you're here or at home, you know, stay away from drugs. We check as much as we can here at, at our campuses. And like I said earlier, we do check our elementaries, the middle schools, and high schools, and all the parking lots throughout the district. Now, this dog here is a female German Shepherd. Her name is Aggie. She should be three years old by now. So the dogs do pay attention. He tells them to sit while I'm going to be talking. The dogs are, like I said, very calm. Here in the district, we try our best to make sure that they do not try to bite anybody to behave as much as possible. But remember, we are here for the drugs. Now, the other thing is, if there was drugs in one of those cones, and I take the drug out, the odor stays there. The dog will still hit on it, will alert on it, so that gives us a reason from that point on to be careful and be looking for the drugs. So remember what I said earlier? The dog gets a reward, which is a toy, a ball, something to play with after he finds the drugs. He's going to demonstrate by starting with that red cone, coming <coughs> to the other cone till he finds the drug.
And as you can see, the dog is ready to start looking, searching for everything once he gives him the command to start looking for, the, for drugs. Okay, you saw the dog as it was coming around, he was smelling it, didn't see anything, then he bypassed that third cone, but he smelled it and turned around and went back. That is something that the handler, the police officer, should recognize that his dog is trying to tell him something. I mean, we don't depend on the dog just to sit down. Sometimes the dog will just look at us and stare at us. We have another dog that's a black lab, that belongs to Officer Davalos. That dog will just start hopping up and down. He will not sit down. He hops up and down, letting him know that there's drugs right there in that area, okay? So Eggie has been with the department for two years, and Officer Galvan has been with the department, I mean, as a canine officer for two years, okay? So I'm the one that gets, I'm one of the ones, Officer Davalos is the other one, we get the dogs, we train our own dogs. Here at BISD, we train our own dogs, and they're less expensive. Each one of these dogs that are called green dogs to the district, they cost $5,000. We went to a training where we could train the dogs and train the handlers. So BISD does not have to send other people outside. We can do it all within our department. Okay, now let's go back to Halloween. You will not be able to go to Halloween this year. But I want to point out, that, like I said earlier, about drugs are also in the shape of candy. BISD Police Department will have a candy drive. In other words, you dress like if you're going to Halloween. A costume, make sure you have a mask, and you go by our police department, which is in front of Hannah High School, 2477 East Price Road. They will be handing out candy as you drive through, okay? You cannot get off the car, but as you drive through, BISD Police Department will be handing out candies for Halloween. All our candies will and are safe, okay? Do we have any questions as far as the K-9, as far as drugs go here throughout the district? Okay. So if there's no questions, Officer Galvan, do you have anything else to add to this? I'm gonna let Officer Galvan talk a little bit more. Okay, boys and girls, so what have we learned with this presentation? What do we say to drugs? No. no. What do we say no to drugs? Because we want you to always be safe and healthy. Okay? As you saw, I've been working with my dog for close to two years already. Um, she alerts to any type of narcotic. That's what she's looking for. When that's her toy, that's her reward. That's what we call it a reward. Whenever we're looking for drugs, we look for the indications she tells me where the drugs are at, by the way she breathes, if she sits down. But in reality, what she's looking for is her reward, which is her toy. Uh, 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 sit, 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 give me your paw. Get it. So, like I said, what we do is for you all, so you all can be safe. Anytime you see us at your schools, just know that we're there to protect you all, to keep you away from drugs and away from harm. Thank you for having us. Uh, I hope you liked the presentation. We'll be coming back again. And uh, as things get better, stay safe. Stay safe with your families and keep rocking. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you.